Welcome back to the boss mode walkthrough series. This is chapter nine, the second half. This is gonna be Astro Magus Capital Normal Mode. We are gonna be doing a speed run. Um, when I define this as a speed run, it basically means that uh, we don't need to work through uh, many mechanics here. We're expecting a bunch of one hit kills. So the team I'm gonna use here is really just a, a caster team because we're dealing with all yellow enemies. I'm gonna use Cobal and Ponty. Um, to clean up any trash and then we'll use Dagron for a caster buff and we will also throw Pygneus in there for the critical buff. Uh, honestly, with uh, a bunch of yellow defenders, Cobalt's probably going to wipe everything uh, uh, in his sight. Um, there are no fast enemies, so it's unlikely that any of these guys are going to be in any real danger. Um, if you do get backed into a wall, uh, once you get to the fourth hero, like after Dagron would go here, if you're really in a bad position, at least you'd have the ability to use potions or a friend hero. Um, where anytime there's fast enemies, you, you kind of lose that luxury. So, there's a couple of rooms to get through, but uh, like I said, with uh, Cobal, there's not really anything to worry about with these guys. Um, if you want, you can cycle between the two skills that he uses, sort of like Possessed Tomb. That way, uh, you don't run into an instance where you end up uh, not having Contagion control up at the very end. It's unlikely that Ponty will have to use any of his uh, major skills. Uh, obviously, you want to keep his AoE in the chamber just in case something bad happens. Um, we saw with that last room that Cobal left one guy open, but it's unlikely that uh, there's going to be too many guys uh, left over that couldn't be killed with just basic attacks. So, so far everything that we're fighting against is just a bunch of casters. Um, that's the only reason why some of them survived in the first place. Um, my Cobal has some runes that are going to do heavy damage against tanks, so... Um, if there were any tanks in there, they would die pretty much instantly. These uh, dwarves here are probably actually the strongest uh, guys that you see in there. You see the one guy just barely survived. Um, but uh, they also tend to be the ones that actually hit the hardest too. But uh, in this particular run, they don't actually don't get any hits, so it's not that big of an issue. All right, we got one more room to get to, and then the boss room um, again. So when it comes to the skills here, I'm basically making sure that I have Contagion Control up. That's why I use the Arcane Bolts here instead. Uh, even though it didn't kill that guy, um, at least it guaranteed that uh, Contagion Control's up in the last room. So the boss room is no different than really any of the other rooms. There's still no fast enemies uh, so you can sort of take your time here and basically take your pick in terms of how you want to approach this um, your priority obviously should be the um, the main boss with the wizard um, his minions are, are really nothing so if you did have to focus fire um, definitely uh, go for him first his most uh, important buff that he's got is the washu with uh, the inability to crit on him um, so if you did have a, a hero that you required that critical from, I know that Cobal's going to do some pretty heavy damage even if he doesn't crit. Um, so you can't really count on that. Um, but he's also a caster, so he's going to take a ton of damage anyways. Um, it's not like he's got any huge buffs. So you can pretty much take your pick as far as uh, hero summons go. Uh, I don't ever really use Darius, so I figured I'd just uh, bring her in here um, just to give a, a little extra love for her. You can see she killed both of the casters and probably did quite a bit of damage to the dwarf as well because of the man eater trait. And uh, Cobalt, because he didn't crit, I guess he didn't do a ton of damage to uh, the caster. And then uh, Ponty comes in there. So this is looking like this guy's going to probably get one hit off, which uh, is probably not the end of the world. And it looks like Cobalt actually bit the dust here, so. Keep that in mind when you're actually going through this stage here, um, that you might lose somebody. Uh, obviously, uh, I could just as easily have revived Cobalt, but uh, um, really I didn't feel the need to waste my revive potion here. And I would assume that uh, you guys probably want to just keep a revive potion handy anyways. I personally didn't need the three star anyways for this particular one. Um, so 
keep that in mind. There's plenty of teams you can run this with, but uh, really just think about it when you get to the to the boss room.